Well, hello everybody, it's Rose again, and today is Boxing Day. I got sick. I uh, didn't realize I was already sick when uh, I recorded my last video on the Poppies unboxing. Um, but later that day, I um, took my temperature and it was over 100 degrees, which when I told my daughter that, she said, what's that in real numbers, Mom? Um, so it works out to something like 38.11 degrees or something like that uh, in Celsius. Anyway, um, today I am feeling better and uh, so I thought I would get back at opening some of these packages. Um, so just to show you once again, here is the haul from... Uh, well, there were 16 packages waiting for me when I got back from my trip. Uh, there are 15 packages left now after I opened the poppies. So we're just going to get down to um, opening those up. If Michael will get away from my coffee table so that I can do my unboxing. Um, just going to try to set this up to be where the package will be. Okay, so Micah. I love you dearly, but you're going to have to get down. You are not the subject of this video. Okay, so I am going to take, I don't know, I don't know, uh, I'll take another small one. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do next. Uh, it's just, looks like it'll be about a, I don't know, 40 centimeter or something like that. I just want to make sure it's in, uh, it's not really in field. I'm going to turn my camera. Ah! Okay, I'm not sure if anything majorly bad happened there. Okay, turning the camera, trying this a different way now. All right, so just please excuse the, uh, the binder, but that's how I keep track of all my stuff. And I'm drinking hibiscus herbal tea to stay hydrated because that has been a bit of a problem with this cold or whatever it is that I caught. I think I caught it on the plane. I was on three planes. I was traveling for over 21 hours and it was, um, it, anyway, it was they were good flights, I gotta say that, and I didn't have to wait anywhere for very long, which was also good. But um, but uh, I think I always catch stuff when I travel, uh, when I'm on a plane, which is kind of sucks, but anyway. Um, okay, so here is, here is my package. I think I know what it is. Oh, look, there's a little, there's a little stowaway in here, a blue stowaway in the uh, otherwise kind of fleshy orange color. All right, uh, what do I have here? I have a drill placer with, I don't know, it looks like a, well, it's a multi-placer, which I'm never going to use because I don't use multi-placers, and just a little boat. And I think those might be labels. But I'm not sure, so I'll open it up to check. It's a sticker of some, like it's just a, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a label of some sort, something. I guess I could cut it up to use as labels, uh, maybe if I'm desperate. And just a little wax placer. Okay, Micah, seriously, you have to go. Because I don't want you all over my diamond painting. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to toss aside the... Okay, Micah, seriously, I love you, but you have to go. All right, um, so they've tied this up fairly well. No, I didn't do any damage to, well, maybe just cut the paper a little bit, but that's all right. <clears throat> I'm not too fussed about it. Okay, so this says it's a 40 by 40. Wow, I've never seen that before. The color of the tape came off on the uh, diamond painting. And it is a poo and 
piglet. So it's a little tiny picture I'll try to show you here. I'm going to test whether I can maybe not um, insert photographs and things like that because it takes a long time to take the photographs and then I upload them to my MacBook and then I have to edit them into the video and the video is taken on uh, an Android device so it takes a while to um, transfer the video to the MacBook. Um, so anyway, it just takes a long time and then when I have to edit all kinds of other stuff to put in photographs and put in title cards and things like that, I'm going to try and do it without. Um, and I, I really, really would love to have your comments as to whether you like the inserted videos and stuff or whether you don't. Um, and I also wanted to say, just before I get too far into this, uh, I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. Um, I had a good one. It was very quiet and like I say, I was sick. Um, I was intending to be alone today and so what I did was I ordered in Chinese food uh, the day before and I've got enough uh, now usually I would eat Chinese food at a f much faster rate than I have been but since I've been sick I haven't been eating as much so the Chinese food is going to last me for a little while I'm actually hoping I'll be able to finish it before I have to throw out, throw out leftovers um, but it was nice. I talked to everybody I wanted to talk to yesterday. Uh, my daughter, my sister-in-law, uh, baby's still in the hospital, but she's out. She got out on Saturday, so that's good. Um, and he's feeding, but still not, he has to feed for 48 hours without, uh, without um, using the feeding tube. And so, um, so he's not quite there yet, but you know, it, it's coming along. Okay, so they shipped this with a foam core, but the foam core, as you can see, is a thin one. That's probably like, I don't know, three quarters of an inch. And it's uh, quite bent. So it, I don't know, not the best protection. Um, and this came in, okay, it's got two sheets of glue on it because it's got two sheets of the double-sided tape um, stuff, paper on it. Um, there's no stickiness in this gap here because, of course, there's no glue in the gap. Um, I don't think that'll be a problem because it's like about a third of the size of a drill, but we'll see. And it is pretty... It's bent and stuff, but maybe not irreparably bent. We'll see. I'm afraid I'm going to knock over my teeth, so just bear with me. I'm just going to move it again. Okay, so I'm going to pull this back. So I would have to say that so far, this is about the worst state that I've ever gotten a diamond painting in, which is actually pretty good because that means I haven't gotten any diamond paintings that are in really really bad shape because from what I see this one's really not in that bad shape um, so I, I'm just noticing now even though I was looking at the drills earlier I'm just noticing now that this is around so this is poo and piglet and it is of course for baby boy blue um, now named Jonah. I'm going to have to start calling him Jonah. Um, and I just thought it was cute because who doesn't love Pooh and Piglet, right? My daughter, when she got her big girl bed, and when she moved out of the crib, um, my ex bought her the bed and I bought her the... No, did, I don't know how that worked. I think he bought her the bed and I bought, bought her the bedding. I don't remember. Maybe he bought her everything. Anyway, she got a... Um, she got a uh, Pooh and Piglet blanket, uh, com comforter, and, uh, and sheet set. And she loved it. To this day, she still has, well, the, the sheets completely wore out. 
after about 16 or 17 years um, of using them every day, I never bought a separate set of sheets for her bed. Uh, I would just wash them and put them back on the bed the same day. And um, those sheets lasted for a very, very long time. But then they finally gave out. And uh, so I think now all she has is just the pillow and the comforter, but the comforter's in excellent shape, and she still uses it on her guest bed, which I sleep in now. So anyway, it's kind of sweet to sleep in, Pooh and Piglet. Anyway, and so here they are. I think that's gonna be cute. Um, there's some pretty, you know, pretty colors for the drills. Uh, the, the glue on the, on the painting extends about a quarter of an inch on this left hand side, about a half an inch along the bottom, mm, about an eighth of an inch along the top, and, oops, whoa, I'm actually not too worried about this, I, I've got enough um, other cover sheets that I could just replace the cover sheet with something from my stock, which is probably what I'll do, okay. So, yeah, so that's fine. It's in good shape. It's in good shape. It may not be perfect, but I'm not too fussed about it. Uh, it'll go in a frame, and uh, any imperfections will be uh, ironed out, more or less. Um, I still have not found my iron for, for the, uh, the person who commented a little while ago on my uh, wrinkle releaser video. Um, you know, did did I did I try ironing it? No, I haven't tried ironing it because I moved three years ago, never found my iron, and it's been kind of a point of pride for me not to use an iron. So I may end up buying one if I get a lot of wrinkled di diamond paintings, but it'll be for diamond paintings, not for clothes. I've managed actually quite well not to iron clothes for three and a half years. Um, okay, so that's that. So we've got, let's see, those look like DMC numbers. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 colors. That's quite a few for something about this size. I'm going to do a really quick inventory here. Um, and then I'll photocopy, uh, I'll photocopy the sheet afterwards. Um, so I'm just going to mark it with my pen. Okay, so I've got, oh, it tells me how, okay. So here's what, what you, I don't know if what's in, in view there. So, um, okay, so that's what the bag is labeled with. So it's got the DMC number, and I think those are grams. You know what? Hold on for just a second. I'm going to uh, weigh them. Okay, so now I really do know I'm sick because I forgot to tell you anything about where I bought this or anything like that. Okay, so this is Pooh and Piglet. Um, that's what I call it. It's 40 by 40 centimeter round. I ordered it from the Luo Vizem store on AliExpress. It was a November 11th purchase. It was shipped on November 15th. Delivered December 23rd. I paid $15.93 American for it. It was on sale, and so I got a $1.30 discount. Um, so, yeah, so those are those are the details for you. Okay? Uh, sorry, I forgot to say that. And I'll edit this little bit into the video somewhere. Okay? Thanks. Bye. Okay, so another thing I forgot is to measure it. And um, so uh, that's kind of important because I, it's supposed to be 40 by 40, but when I measure it, it is 35 by, I can see the lines through the paper, it's 35 by 35. 
So the 40 by 40 is the size of the entire uh, canvas. Yeah. Um, so 35 by 35 is the, is the painting size, which is a little disappointing, uh, I gotta admit, uh, given that it wasn't super cheap. Um, yeah, I paid 15, you know, $16 Canadian for it, so I am disappointed that it isn't, um, that it isn't the right size. Um, but there you go. If I was doing a title, uh, if I was doing a rating card, uh, I would probably not rate this one 100%. Uh, I'd probably rate it as, you know, we'll see. We'll see. And we'll see and I'll tell you all about it in the rating uh, at the post, post review. Okay? Thanks. Bye.